Welcome back folks, this is Kushnuth. From this video, I am going to start my Python course where we will learn lots of concepts in Python from beginner to advanced. Before starting this video, I am going to tell you what we will learn in this video. We will learn lots of things in Python like opportunities with Python, benefits of learning Python, installation of Python, and we will install Python for writing our code. For We'll know a cool IDE which we can use which we can use it without any installation. We can access it on the web. For those who don't know what is IDE, IDE is a code editor where we can write and implement, where we can write and execute our code. And lastly, we can write some code in Python, like printing, variables, commenting, and much more things. Python use Python widely used in these domains, web development, data science, machine learning, scientific computing, automation and scripting, desktop application development, and many more. Developers are using Python as a framework in backend development. In machine learning, in data science and machine learning, Python used as a, Python used as a library like TensorFlow, PyTorch, NumPy, Pandas, scikit-learn and many more. In scientific computing, Python are used as a library like NumPy for, an, for, numeric, for numerical computing, at matplotlib for visualization and SumPy for symbolic mathematics in scientific fields. You can delegate your time consuming tasks with Python easily. And fifth is desktop application development. Let's suppose you have a website. But you want to create a desktop application so more users can access your website, which we call the cross-platform desktop applications. We use some frameworks like PyQt and WX, WX Python. So that's it for opportunity. Let's learn some benefits of Python. Firstly, it is easy to learn and readable syntax. Versatility for a wide range of applications. As we have covered in our previous section, you can do lots of applications with Python. This is what makes Python great. Python have more than 10 million users and you will be next. Python is also high demand in job market. And lastly, if you are learning Python, there are lots of resources and materials out there like videos, questions, documentation and many more things. Till now we have covered what are the opportunities with Python and what are the benefits of Python? Now let's start by writing our code in Python. Alright guys, I am on my PC screen and for a couple of minutes I am going to mute myself and fast forward the video so I can install Python and you also can see the and you also can see the process of installing Python. So let's start. As we have successfully installed Python, now let's check is Python working or not. For that, I am going to open my command line. Swoosh. 
Yeah. Just type here Python. Yeah, we have successfully downloaded Python. As as you can see here, Python three dot eleven dot four. That's the version. That's the version of Python. For writing code, we have we have to create a file. So we so we can write here file dot py. We have created a file and now let's write a code print pull it hello word it yeah it's working I think command line for a beginner can be hard to understand but let me show you a new website where you can easily write and you can easily understand Python code so guys again on my so guys I'm on my browser and I'm going to type here pw skills lab and hit enter go to second link in this tool you have to sign up with your number and or it and your gmail id so I have already signed up so I don't need to sign in again so I don't need to sign up again I'm going to start first I'm going to create a lab which we call as a file second is start to just go to lab templates and go to data science and open Jupyter and open Jupyter notebook and you can name it as the first in row video and hit go scene it will take some time to open it yeah I have opened the file now I'm going to create a notebook from Python just click here first rename our file name it as class what so now it's time to understand some concepts of Python. So in this video, I'll cover three th First, print. Second, commenting. And third one is variable. You can make this, you can make this big by go, by clicking on this and go to markdown and select that. Oh, sorry, I'm not giving the space between this and hit enter. Yeah. Create some more lines. This video is just an introductory video and installation of Python. So let's start with print. Print is just a function which can output our data. Data can be string, new data can be integer, string, float, and list. It can be anything. So so I will pick a string as an example. Just type with me print. and parentheses and under the parentheses put quotes and under the parentheses put quotes so I'm just going to write here hey guys I hope you will like this video and subscribe to my channel so I have written like so I've written this line and so I've written this line and and after that line you have to go onto this symbol as you can see here just click on it 
and it will output your and it will output your data. So that's it for pre and let's come to commenting. Is it your favorite? Is your name start Paul L character? Then if you enter if you run this command, it will it will take some character as a function. So that is the problem for writing code like that. What you can do put hashtag for single line of comment. It will it will count as a comment. It will just it will just count as a now it will now it will just count as a text. Yeah, we have solved this problem. So what about multiple line? If we write again, it will all it will again count as a code. So what you can do here, you can you can replace this hashtag to quotes. Put put three quotes, and now I will now I can easily write many lines of code that I want. And end of the and end of this and end of this year and end of your lighting and end of your writing and end of your writing would just put again three chords. Yeah, we have done. Yeah, we have done. So that's about variable. So that's about so. We have covered print and commenting and let's talk about variable. What is variable and what are the use cases of variable? Case of variable, you can consider that as a box where you can store your name, number, list and floating and float numbers. For example, I'll write, I will write A is equal to Double quotes is king or my name. And after that, when I when I need this variable, I can simply call this like that. And if I want to change this variable. I can also do that. Why you? You. Again, we will call this variable. Yeah, it's updated. Variable only can start with alphabets. For example, it cannot be started with special characters like at the rate, hashtags, explanation mark or anything else or as well as numbers. Use these characters, but first characters should be alphabet new, alphabet value. So guys, as we have covered this function in Python, I hope you have liked this video. If you found this video helpful, drop a comment in the comment section and subscribe to my channel and like my video. And I will see you in the next video with amazing topic.